guys and welcome to a book haul which is so exciting because I did some unhauls and I actually have room on my bookshelves to put all these books away so I'm so excited to haul these and I can actually put these books away and let's see let's choose one. Ooh, okay Jojo Moyes the girl you left behind I have no idea on this but I am a huge Jojo Moyes click but I got this super cool stamp for Mother's Day and I've been stamping the page it's so cool the title page but look it says from the library of Eva Brister it's just so cool and yeah hopefully I read this book I was gonna stamp them once I read them but I wanted to show you guys Okay, so this one is by Jojo Moyes, The Girl You Left Behind. It's a war story. I love Jojo Moyes. I love her writing, and I can't wait to read this one. I think it's about an occupied town in Germany, or an occupied, not, it wouldn't be Germany, occupied by the Germans. Is it in France? Yep, France in 1916. Oh, so this is a World War I story. How refreshing, because I haven't read a World War I story in a hot moment. Um, the next one is a Windfall. Let the Luck Find You <laughs> by Jennifer E. Smith. I just love this cover and it's about people who come into a windfall, right? So I found this one at the used bookstore and couldn't pass it up because I just loved the cover. So, oh, this one was given to me by a girl who likes mysteries, um, but it's The Wife Upstairs by Rachel Hawkins who, don't quote me on this, but I think wrote The Girl on the Train. So that's a mystery. That's all I need to know about it. I don't like to know like details of mysteries. Um, this one is just so cute. The Frosted Kiss. I think this is a children's book. Um, but yeah, I have a little girl who reads. And, oh, there's another one in here for her that I've read. Where is it? I don't know where it is right now. But it'll, it'll pop up soon. But yeah, this one is just super cute. Um, a former Manhattan girl named Penny and, um, goes to Hogs Hollow. Oh, I hope they don't kiss a lot. There's no way, do they? Marcus is an adorable, mysterious boy, and Penny thinks maybe she likes him. It just, it's, it was way too cute of a little story, and I think it was like 25 cents, so. This one, uh, What to Say Next, I think Tell Me Three Things by Julia Bo Buxbum, Buxbum. Tell Me Three Things is something I wanted to read and never got around to. I think this is a YA story. Uh, so it says, Kit, I don't know what to say, but David Decker has a theory about my metaphorical radio waves. David, there's a stillness in you, like if you are a radio wave, you have a very, you have your very own frequency. So I think it's about kind of weirdo, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it sounded really cute, and I never got around to reading Tell Me Through Things, so if I like this one, this is super summary, I will move on to it. Because I haven't read a YA contemporary in a little bit that I loved. Um, this one I was given by me, Madre, my mother. Um, Harbrainer, The Ancient Mystery of Secrets of America's Future by Jonathan Can. She adored this book. I don't know what it's about, but it is a super popular book. And there's Harbinger and Harbinger 2. So if I like this, I move on to the other one. I picked up some like nostalgia. I was about to say Superman. I did pick up some Superman ones, but I haven't read them yet. Um, but this one is, look at this cover. It's so cute. Uh, support Supergirl by Warbon Superman. Keep flying. That one is so cute. And then this one too is just like a cover I've never seen before. I know people who are into comics are going to be like blah blah blah, but it looks, I don't, I don't know. It just looks completely different. The new Superman. Um, and then this one looked old school, so I had to pick it up too because these were in like the dollar bucket bin at my local comic book store. So Superman, Man of Steel, the Man of Steel is back. What issue? This is issue 22. Um, and then this one too. I couldn't pass this Captain America one up. I don't know why I like Superman and Captain America so much. But this one said Corp. And so I wanted to read about the corpse. Um, but yeah, I have random issues here. 22, 43, and 1. So this one I'm actually starting right. <laughs> um, but yeah, they just looked fun to read and different. And I'm probably diving into stories I don't understand. <sighs> okay. This book simply, I have seen everywhere. This one, again, Ask Again, Yes, by Mary Beth Keene. Uh, this is like a neighbor story, I believe, about like um, 
these two families that go through a tragedy, I believe, together. So, uh, some dark times in there. But I've seen this book everywhere. I've seen people really love it. It's got a beautiful cover. And so, it sounds good. It sounds different than what I've been reading. This one also sounds completely different, but it's a huge New York Times bestselling book as well. A Gentleman in Moscow by Amor. Tala's um, Rules of Civility. I think this is like somebody who gets on like the fringes of society, who was like in society in Moscow in the 1920s. Yeah. The canal is reduced to circumstances. Yeah. So it just sounds different and a completely different story than I read. I love historical books and just people seem to like it. I mean, it's got rave reviews. Uh, CJ Red Run, I wanted to read another novel by her. Um, and this is like in the clearance section and it's Defiance. I read her series of, what is that called? The Spire, I don't know what it was called, but it's like the Wish Granter, I'm reading them off. The Traitor Prince, The Blood Spell, uh, The Shadow Queen, I had so much fun with them. And this is like her one other book I've seen around. So we saw it in the clearance section. I wanted to read it. Ooh, another Jojo Moyes. <laughs> So Still Me by Jojo Moyes. So this girl, um, I think this girl goes to like New York and she's like discovering herself, but she's like involved in the super rich and she's saying like, I'm still my old original self. I believe that's the story, book story. Uh, Lois Lowry, uh, Gathering Blue, have not read this one by her. And I saw it and I didn't know she wrote it and love love her writing for children's writing it's amazing and definitely adults can read it too this one the dinner list by rebecca cereal um we've all played the game which five people living or dead would you like to have dinner but what if the dinner actually happened yeah just get you i've seen this around i don't know if people like loved it or hated it but i've seen it around a lot and like pff, the first line are you kidding me so I read a Nicholas Sparks lately that didn't love, but then I read some last year I really liked. So haven't read this one by Nicholas Sparks. Every Breath picked it up at the used bookstore. Hope Anderson's at a crossroads, 36. She's been dating her boyfriend, an orthopedic surgeon for six years with no wedding plans in sight. True Wallace has never visited North Carolina, but summoned, summoned to Sunset Beach from a letter of a man claiming to be his father. Okay, so she's not gonna hook up with the surgeon. That already gave that away. <laughs> This book I've heard rave reviews on too. Um, an Oprah Books Club book in 2013, and I never got around to reading it or listening to it. So, Tanashi's Colts, The Water Dancer. I think I even put this on like a list of I want to read these. Um, years later, when Hiram almost drowns in a river, the same power saves his life. Oh, this is the power one. Hiram is robbed of all his, but gifted with mysterious power. Oh yeah, I kind of remember this one. Do, do still want to read that. I collected a bunch of Robin Cars based on a person telling me I need to read Robin Carr. <laughs> uh, but I got Virgin River. Where the heck is Virgin River? Well, I don't know where Virgin River is, but I got some Virgin River novels. And then I got, this one's a Virgin River novel, The Whispering Rock. And then I got a Thunder Point novel because I heard these were really good. The Homecoming. Um, and then I got a Christmas one because these were all like 25 cents in my library. <laughs> um, this one's a Virgin River novel. And then The Country Guest House. I don't think I heard anything about this one, but this one was like in perfect shape. And for like 25 cents. Come on. Come on. This one, I want to get into this series. I collected a few of them because I heard really good reviews and people keep telling me to read it. Uh, but it is the Karen Morning, Karen Marie Morning Dark Fever series. Um, I believe this is a fantasy series that's really easy and fast to read. So I've got a bunch of fantasy I need to read because I've got like three series now that I have not read that I've collected that I really want to read, including this one. <laughs> so I've read The Tigers. What is it? Um, okay, so Tigers Curse I read a long time ago and never finished the series. But I believe, if I remember right, this is a YA kind of level of series, and I liked it. So, I collected book two and three um, at the used bookstore, Tiger's Voyage, and I have had book four for like a year or so, and Tiger's Quest. These are beautiful covers. Hopefully, I love them because I got them for a really good price. I think this one was six. This one was five at the used bookstore. <laughs> but beautiful, beautiful, beautiful covers. Um, and this one... Is the original one that drew me in. I mean, I think that's like a snow leopard or something. But now I have like a series to read. A whole 
fantasy series to read this fall, which I'm so excited about because, I mean, come on. I have two others, too. I have a V.E. Schwab one because I love V.E. Schwab now, and I've read some other ones by her um, that is huge. I can't remember what it's called in the Sky series. I think I have that one, too, now um, that everybody raves about. And, oh, I have four. I have this one from, like, Saba. I don't remember. I have another series too. So I have plenty of fantasies for this fall or this summer once I get around to them. <laughs> this one is Sophie Kinsella's Surprise Me. Have not read it. Don't know what it's about, but I loved hers. Her all rom-coms. Loved them. Um, I've Got Your Number by Sophie Kinsella. Really, really like this book and I talk about it a lot on YouTube, so I wanted to go ahead and collect it. I love Sophie Kinsella. This, I believe, is book two. Um, from this one, The Next Year in Havana by Chanel Clayton. Um, when We Left Cuba, I started reading this one and I can't figure out if it's like the grandmother's story of when she left Cuba or if it's somebody else. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember. Um, but it's starting out really, really good. So I've already started this book. Looks like a summer read, Cuban, Florida, Havana. You know, you know. Another Jojo Moyes book, which you couldn't leave this one in the shelf because it's hot pink and it's set in the 1960s. Uh, the Last Letter from Your Lover. Um, Jennifer Sterling wakes up in a hospital and remembers nothing after a car accident. So, love her writing. So excited. I, I got like three Jojo Moyes books in here, I believe. Ooh, The X Talk. Um, Shay Goldston is producer of Seattle radio station nearly a decade. But lately, it's been a constant clash between her and her new colleague, Dominic Young, who's a professional journalism. On the x Talk, two exes deliver relationship advice live on air. I've been wanting to like this one. When I saw it at the used bookstore, I went ahead and picked it up. And it's pink, and it's gorgeous, and it looks like a summer read that I'm going to love. This is a series, like a YA series I've been wanting to read, um, Love and War, the Alex and Eliza story. You know, it's... A little easier reading a giant Alexander Hamilton nonfiction piece and I absolutely love Melissa de la Cruz and I love her storytelling and her writing um I don't know which book in the series this is if this is book one that's great because I can start it out but it might not be I just saw it at the used bookstore and so I picked it up but I don't know what point in the series this is I know it's a trilogy and then the next one is Forever Dune because my child was reading this. I read this series, had so much fun with it. It's like this Scottish series, like in this fantasy land that they get like stuck in these two girls that are very American. Um, but it's such a fun little series. This is book number four. Um, but yeah, those are all the books I collected in June and May. And they're all from used bookstores. And I'm just so excited to put them on my bookshelves that are cleared off in space. <laughs> and i will see you guys in the next one don't forget to subscribe if you like these um if you want to see all the books i unhauled from my bookshelves go ahead and check those videos out as well and i will see you in, in the next one see you guys next time bye